You've run companies. What would you be telling your board members and your top executives about their use of social media right now? Well, we just had a group of large company CEOs come to Harvard Business School, and what we say is, you need, you're a public figure, and everything you have, you say, a lot of things in private, is going to become public. So you have to be very discreet and very careful. You may use Twitter to communicate with your employees, but realize that's going to get out everywhere. So it, you, you have to show very good judgment. On the other hand, today, you can't disappear. You can't stand behind some press release. So, Brian, I think you've got to be out there, but I think you have to show very good judgment and not expressing a lot of personal opinions on Twitter, but really acting. You're speaking for the company, no matter what yeah. you say. I, you know, uh, you're on behalf of the company. Most of our viewers and Twitter people are chiming in now saying, hey, no, it's free speech. Well, listen, it's not really free speech. I mean, let's just say that the head salesman of Medtronic, right, he's got a personal account with a dog as an avatar, and he tweets out something like, you know, look at my new Maserati, sales are rocking. And a couple people realize this is the head of sales for Medtronic. I'm just using this as a made-up example. That's material non-public information in a way. <laughs> yeah, you can't say that. But, you know, you got the Houston Rockets thing, Brian. You know, you just, yeah, he had the right to say that, but he, sh it was showed, he showed poor judgment. And do don't stick your nose into something that doesn't affect you. Stay with what's in your be business best interest, because you're speaking for the company and you're the CEO and you're speaking for every employee and, frankly, your customers. And so you got to be discreet and you got to use good judgment here. Yeah, I mean, and that's it. If, 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 you know, if you as a professor at Harvard say something ridiculous on your Twitter account, or I do here, it's, it's going to reflect on CNBC. It's going to reflect on Harvard. So I, I'm just trying to figure out how we navigate these times, because effectively, if you're a top executive, your tweet is in many ways a press release, a de facto press release. Yeah. It is, but you can't hide, Brian. You can't hide behind your PR department anymore. People want to see you. And that's what you're called to do. You have to show good judgment. A lot of people are uncomfortable being a public figure, but they are. Even something you say, it's overheard at a restaurant, Brian, or, you know, somebody's taking photos next to you, you know, and you look a little bleary-eyed, you know, sitting in a restaurant. I mean, you're, you're out there, and so you got to realize that you represent the company. Now, you just don't say certain things. You know, you can talk and good judgment about your company. You can be proud of what you do, but, you know, there are things you just don't. Don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you.